Hey guys, it's Ashley. I um, actually went to Tuesday morning um, today, so I have a haul for you guys. Um, I had been seeing a lot of you guys hauls um, on YouTube from Tuesday morning and like all this big ship and they were getting with all of these things for 39 cents and 49 cents and all of this stuff. And I'll, I've been like scouring the earth for it. Um, I have like three Tuesday mornings immediately in my area and then one over in the area that I go to church in. Um, and so I've looked in all of them except, um, you know, there's two of them that are the closest to me and one I've been to the closest to me and they didn't have anything. Um, and this was actually the first one I had stopped at. Then I made my rounds and I was like, um, my, it was my husband's off day. Um, we were doing some things around town and he had to go into work and I was like, ew, I don't want to be at your job, like just waiting for you for forever. Um, so I decided, you know, he was like, well, why don't you go do some shopping if you want to and go look around. And I was like, look around. You mean spend money? I was looking around for me. I'm not a window shopper, okay? If I'm going out, I'm going to buy something. I know that's terrible. Um, but I was like, well, I'll go to Tuesday morning because it's right by his work. And I was like, that's perfect. And they had a lot. Um, you know, there's still a few things that I had seen some other people haul and I've seen their pictures on Instagram and stuff like that. And I didn't find those, but the things I found, I mean, I even found things that I hadn't seen, you know, a lot of people haul. So I had found some things. Um, the trip before, um, I had gotten some things too, and I wish that I would have, you know, shown a video, but it wasn't enough, um, to show and I already put it all away so I can't remember what I've shown before and what I haven't. I was going to dig it all out for you guys so I could do just one big haul but I I can't remember what was from the last one and then what was the time before that so it's fine. I'll just show you this um, but I didn't want to show you that because it wasn't enough and I wasn't finding a lot and so I was getting frustrated so I just put it all away. Um, I have a lot in front of me like in a weird pile and it's not organized so I'm just going to show you just the way that it's in front of me okay um these ephemera packs they have a lot and my these are my favorite things to find I love ephemera packs I mean I love them I even use like some of the ephemera packs you guys that I don't have a die cutting machine I haven't bought one yet you know paper crafting is something that's still you know fairly new to me it's something I've dabbled in a time or two but I've never really you know said okay this is my hobby and I'm going for it and you know I haven't really ever had you know the funds to put into a hobby that is mine that I said you know what, I'm, I'm going to put money into this. I'm going to put a lot of time and effort and money, and I'm going to dedicate this as my hobby. So now that I have, and paper crafting, you know, keeps me sane with all these, you know, children 24-7 and all of this, you know, paper crafting is my escape. It's something that I do that, you know, my husband's like, yeah, keeps you sane. I mean, that's, you know, yeah. So paper crafting and crafting in general is just something that I do to, you know, it's therapy to me, you know, and so I haven't bought a die cutting machine yet, I've put it on my Christmas list, and along with a few dies that I'm pretty sure my husband gets the idea, um, but, okay, don't come in here right now, okay, be really quiet, hold on, hold on, you guys, sorry, you guys, my husband's with them, but it seems like he, Tristan, escaped and came in here to find me, um, Anyway, so paper crafting is my therapy, okay? So the die cutting machine, I'm pretty sure he understands. He gets the point. I've mentioned it like five times. I never put anything on a Christmas list for him to buy. So he's probably excited I gave him an idea. But anyways, um, I, I keep rambling. I'm, you know, we're four minutes in and I'm rambling. But um, I say all of that to say that sometimes with these ephemera packs, since I don't have a die cut machine, any shapes, like one time there was a cloud and one time there was a cupcake and just things like that, a butterfly, you know, whatever. I actually use that as, you know, my base for I draw it out and I will cut shapes from there. And, you know, that just gives me something, you know, to cut from and to look at. And then I make tons of different kind of paper shapes from that kind. And then I have tons of die cuts. I mean, there's millions of them. So um, that's what I do. I use the die cut as my base and then I cut around it. I, you know, I trim it out and that's, I have tons of die cuts. But anyways, so I found a lot of these. Um, here's this one. It's a Dear Lizzie. And I hate the glare in here and I complain about the glare every single 
room that I go in, but these are the ones that you get, and I'll do them really closely. And I love them. They're just so many cute ones. And I'm sorry, guys, but I'm really shaky, so the camera won't focus because I shake all the time. But there's cute ones. I mean, I don't know if you can see that really well, but there's a cute little Dalmatian puppy. It's not even a puppy. He's a full-grown dog. You know what I mean, guys. It's been a long day. You can tell. There's the umbrella and a little house. There's a typewriter. I mean, there's just just tons of them, and I use these in so many things. Um, you know, I told you guys so many times that I sell scrapbooks, um, and, you know, I use them all the time, scrapbooking and pocket lit. Everything that I do, I use these shapes. There's this one right here, and, and these were $1.49, and it has all of these in there. Isn't that super cute? This one's American Craft. Look at that. With the little, the flower wagon with the umbrella on top. I mean, I just, I can't handle it, you guys. I love ephemera packs. I just love them. Um, this one was a little more plain. Um, but I do love these little, the little chalkboard looks. And with these tags that are blank, like, there's so much that you can do with those. It just gives you a lot of options um, to have kind of that freedom. These were words. This is a Dear Lizzie as well. And I hadn't seen these before. Some of these I haven't, I hadn't seen anybody haul, and I was like, wait, actually, my Tuesday morning is gonna be something that I haven't seen. I mean, I'm sure other people got them too, but I just haven't seen them. Then there's these journaling tags, and these were 39 cents, you guys. I mean, you can't go wrong with 39 cents. I mean, you know, they're just plain tags, and they all have these. Pretty little designs on them. I'm not going to show you every single one of them because they're, you know, they're all blank and they're all that size. And they just have really pretty designs. That one's really pretty. They have, like, floral patterns and things like that. Just really girly, feminine tags. And you get 24 of them. And this one is the same thing. They're called this one Trinket Tags. You still get 24. And they were 39 cents as well. And these just look, these are more like, you know. A postcard, kind of. See, that one says postcard. And these are more like, you know, that kind of style, that antique -y. That one says with lucky numbers. I mean, it's just super, super cute. I mean, just adorably cute. And there's just all these different ones. So those were cute. These I love. And there's actually a paper pack, and I can't remember which what it's called. I'll have to get back to you guys on that, but it's a paper pad and I got it from Tuesday morning as well. And it really reminds me of these butterflies because it's the same. And I've been using them and that paper pad in a lot of crafts I've been doing lately, but you get all of these tags and this was $1.49 as well. And I did haul this one and another kind the last time, I do remember that I, I did haul those, the one that I didn't show you guys. And I'm kicking myself for not showing you, but it was so, I was frustrated. That was really the thing. Because it wasn't even that it was too small to show you guys, because it really wasn't. I could have showed you. But I was just so frustrated that I wasn't finding what I was looking for that I was like, forget it. And I just put it all away. And then I was like, man, I should have filmed that. But I didn't. And I usually film everything that I purchase for you guys. I mean, my goodness, I definitely film enough. Um, there were these borders. They're super cute, aren't they? Super cute. The floral. And these were K and Company. And a lot of the stuff that was really cheap was from K and Company. And you get all of these borders. And they're super cute. And you get two of each. So there's 26 pieces in here. And those were really cute. I, I did get some borders the last time, too. And they were, um, you know, kind of foily. Um, but I should have showed you guys, but I didn't. And now I keep talking about it. Um, I got these and it looks like I got two of these. So I don't think I meant to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to, but these were the, um, American craft one with the flower wagon. I mean, I'll definitely use them, but I didn't mean to get two. There was just so much and I was grabbing it. And while I was there... Okay, so while I was there, 
And Tuesday morning, my Tuesday morning, it's usually pretty quiet. You know, there's only a few people in there at a time. It's quiet. And there's not really a lot of people that I ever see on the paper crafting aisle. These are cute. These are just like different kind of mushrooms. So if you're doing like a fairy tale theme or whatever, you know, in your planner or in a pocket letter or whatever, those would be really cute. Um, but okay, so I'm going down the paper crafting aisle and I, you know, Joshua kept Tristan Josh was my husband. Josh would kept Tristan, my oldest, with him at his work, and I just took the baby because he was like, you know, just take the baby so you can, you know, you can look a little bit better. And I was like, okay. So I took Killian, and Killian's wanting me to hold him, so I was holding. I was like, you know what? We're we're gonna take our time, and this is good, and you know, we're not in a hurry because he's gonna be there for a little while, and we're just gonna look through all of this, and I see some things that I've been looking for, so I'm just gonna take my time. And right when I go to pick Killian up out of the buggy, these two ladies just rush over there, and they're like digging, like like a there's a fire or something and they have to hurry up and compete and they're just digging all through and I feel I start feeling anxious like I'm gonna have to compete with these ladies to get some of the stuff before they just grab it all which I mean they didn't but they just were shoving away and there was this other lady that had been there since I had been there and she was just waiting patiently for them to move and they are just taking over the whole aisle I'm just like, wow, you know, maybe this is why I don't find things because people, you know, vultures come in and they just rush and grab. I mean, I was just like, we're grown. You don't have to push everything out of the way just to take over. But whatever. Anyway, don't be that person, which, you know, they were fine and they got out of the way and come to find out they were on their lunch break. But I'm just like, good grief, guys. I mean, come on. Anyway. These were, yes, I know, Halloween is over and fall, you know, whatever. It, they were 49 cents and they're adorable. I mean, it's got the pumpkin carving and they're so cute and it has the pumpkin seeds. I loved it. I thought these, this was cute and I wish, I actually wish now that I would have gotten more. And every time I keep looking at these, I'm like, I wish I would have gotten, you know, duplicates of these and I didn't end up doing it. But, you know, I was trying to be good. Am I good? And yeah, these were 49 cents too. And I know that it's Easter, but you guys, as fast as everything is going, Easter will be here before we know it. And then we'll be wishing that we had prepared. So I didn't want that to happen. So this one was 49 cents as well. It was another cane company and it is super cute. It says autumn leaves, give thanks, fall. Isn't that cute? I really like that one. There are these ephemera packs. Well, you know, kind of. There's seven pieces in here, and it says they're pop-ups, so I don't know. I can't really tell exactly. Here, let me just open this really quick. I don't want to see what it's like. Oh, yeah, so they're just ephemera pieces. That's what they are. Oh, so they're not. See, because look, they have little cardboard pieces and they pop out. So you can actually just use it like this, put this on your paper, and then it'll stick out a lot. Or, I mean, if you just want it to be flat or if you're giving it to someone, you could just stick it in like that because it folds down, but it folds out. And that's what it's like. So it's really cute. And these, let's see. <clears throat> These are the designs that they have. And I got two of these just because I loved them so stinking much. I mean, I love them. And I don't know if you can read what they say, but there is a cuckoo clock, and it says cuckoo for you. There's a fan, biggest fan. There's a typewriter, inking the view. Um, trophy, always a winner. A fish that says hooked on you. There's a old school um, record player, or like a... Um, why did my mind just go completely blank? You know, that thing right there. And I, my mind, I know what that is and can't think of it. Can't, just can't. And it says, have a record-breaking celebration. I mean, I know it's a music player, but I know, I know the real name for it and I can't think of it. And then there's a briefcase in case you didn't know I love you. I mean, super, super adorable. Can't handle it. And so I got two of those because I love them and I know that. If I didn't, I was going to regret it because I'm, 
My problem is I'm not, see, I mean, look at that. The, my problem is I don't want to use it if I only have one. And, I mean, they're just too cute not to use. So, I can't just hoard it forever. But, I want to because I love it so much. I don't want to let it go. And so, when I use the first one, I'm like, man, I'm, I'm going to wish I had that for this. And then, you know, it just sits there and, and wastes. And it's not fun if I'm the only one who gets to look at it. So, anyways, that's why I like to get duplicates. So, I should have gotten duplicates of a few more of these, but I didn't. So, and, you know, I might go back, but then I'll just buy so much more and I just need to not. So anyway, these were 49 cents as well. And they're super cute. They're the little ornaments. And I love those icicles. Aren't those so cute? So I did get two of those because I'm Christmas crazy right now. And I'm crafting Christmas all over the place. I got these and these were $1.49. I was like, do I really want to buy these when they're spring? And But they're too, I mean, look at the lamb. I can't. The little lamb and the baby chick, I think, is really what sold me. I don't know. Those squirrels are, like, super cute, too. But the lamb, I, I really loved the lamb. These were only 99 cents, and there's 86 pieces in here. And I was just like, yes, please. I would have gotten more of these, but I'm pretty positive this was the only one there. And so I got that. This little carnival, super cute. I really like the cotton candy. I think it's adorable. And the food, like that hot dog up there, super cute, 49 cents. I like that one. This one, I love when they have these. I got some of these from Tuesday morning for Halloween. It had like vampire teeth and stuff like that. But it, I mean, they're 99 cents and you see how cute they are. I don't usually go for this color scheme with the reds and stuff like that, you know, unless it's 4th of July. But there's four different sheets of stickers, and they're thick, like chipboard stickers. And they're, I mean, there's 54 pieces in here for 99 cents. Yes, please. Um, this only had three tags for 99 cents, but they're super cute. And I like the black and white, so I got some of those. And then here is a zoo theme for 49 cents. All these 49 cent stickers... I saw someone haul, like, these teapots and stuff like that. And if you guys have seen that, you know, like, it's super cute. I couldn't find those. But I'm still going to try the other Tuesday mornings and see if they get this stuff in. Because the one closest to me usually has the most stuff. And I just don't think they had gotten this big shipment in yet. So, these were 49 cents. And these were 49 cents as well. And these are super pretty. They just look very vintage, old-fashioned, elegant. I really like those. Look at the butterfly. I mean, it's just really pretty. And I like this one that says, it says, A friend may well be reckoned the masterpiece of nature. Isn't that beautiful? I really like that one. This one says, To see the world in a grain of sand and heaven in a wild flower. Oh, so pretty. Loved that. Okay, I got these three ink pads. Christmas. I mean, can you tell? They were $1.99 each. Um, the ink that I got, I got a lot of stamps from the Target Dollar Spot, and I got an ink pad too in it. Sucks really bad. And yeah. Um, and then I got a paper pad, and this is why I was trying to be good with the scissor, with the scissor, with the stickers because I did get a paper pad. It's $6.99, so that is not bad at all. But you know. When you're comparing four, 49 cents to six ninety nine, I, you know, it, it, it just feels like a lot more, even though I know paper pads. I mean, if you know paper pads, they're really expensive, but I never, ever will pay full price for a paper pad. I'm not paying $19.99, and that's what, you know, they go for, like a regular size paper pad. This one's not double-sided, and it's 48 sheets, and I'm just going to show you. Um, you know, you guys know I'm terrible at flipping at this angle and I hate it so very much. It's so awkward and it feels horrible, but these are some of the cut aparts. I mean, isn't that pretty? And I know a lot of them are summer, but I mean, look, this one says so very thankful and it has wood like tree trunks. I mean, there's a lot of different ones and this will show you the designs. I wanted to show you that one close up because just because it is like that one is so different, but. You can use some of these for other things other than summer. There's one with like the pencils and this floral pattern is not just summery to me. 
um, the bicycles, that darker pattern over here. Like you can use a lot of these for other than the feathers. You can use them for more than just summer. Like there's those, those houses right there are really pretty. And you can use these for more than just summer, but there's then there's some that are really summery. So I thought it was really pretty, and I really like that. Um, this one right here for Valentine's Day. I mean, there's some of them that you can use definitely before summer, so I really liked that paper pad, and it just called out to me. So um, I also have a Dollar Tree haul. I don't know which one I'll put up first, just whichever one. I'll probably put this one up first, so definitely stay tuned for that. Of course, I have a Dollar Tree haul. I mean, of course. Um, but this is what happens when um, my husband is busy and he sends me off you know, without him for a little while. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Um, our family is growing and I definitely want to keep the growth going on. Um, so, you know, I'd love to have you. I do, God, I do a lot of hauls and I have some fun stuff coming up for Christmas. I'm so super excited about. So um, I definitely want you guys to be a part of that. So hit subscribe. If you like this video, please hit like and leave me a comment. I'm hearing more and more from you guys and I love it. So definitely um, comment. Um, let me know a little bit about you. I love to chat with you guys and um, I hope you guys have a great night, day, whatever this is for you. And as always, you guys, happy hauling.